Hi children, time. We all need to know the time. How to read the time at home in a clock. How to get to school on time. So today, let us look at time. We are going to work on time, reading time. Drawing a clock, reading a time. Okay, that's what we are going to do, time. Now, when we say time, when you look at a clock, there are a number of lines on it. So, we need to know what it is. Okay, and now when you look at a clock, it's got two hands. How many hands have you? You have two hands. The clock also has two hands. So, we are going to look at the clock in detail. Now, here is the clock face. I have done a round clock face and the numbers in it. You have 12, you have 3 here, 6, 9. Those are the main. Then you have 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, all the numbers. Now, you have numbers 1 to 12. Yes? Then, you also have between 1 to 2, there are numbers. Okay, number of small lines. Now, when you learn to read the time, you must also learn there are seconds, there are minutes, then there are hours. Now, what is the meaning of seconds? 1, 2, Three, that is three seconds. Okay? When you are fever, mommy takes, she will give you a thermometer and she will count 60 seconds. That is one minute. Doctor does the same thing. So, 60. Now, the clock has got one short hand, one small hand, which we call an hour hand. Okay? It goes. An hour, one hour, two hour. There is a long hand that we call it minute hand. Sometimes there are narrow, short line la, uh, hand which we call it second. So second hand, minute hand, hour hand. Most clocks have only two hands. Now, the now. I am going to draw one o'clock, one long hand that is here resting upon 12 and then you have a nice short hand that is here, that is, now this is 3 o'clock. How do we read this? 3 o'clock. Now, this long hand to travel from 12 to 1. It takes one, two, three, four, five. It takes five. It takes five minutes. Now, from here till here, it takes five minutes to travel. That long hand. Now, what is one minute then? The minute hand goes one time around. That is, when you count from 1 to 60, that is 60 seconds. 60 seconds, that is 1 minute. So 1, the second hand, when it makes 1 circle, that is 1 minute. So, that's what first we need to learn. 60 seconds. 60 seconds make. One minute. So now you count from one, two, three, four. When you count, finish 60, that is 60 seconds. So 60 seconds make one minute. So that's called one minute. Now, the this is the second hand. This travels from one number to the other number, it takes how many minutes? We say 
from here till here. It takes five minutes. Then we say it is three five. All right. Now sixty seconds make one minute. Now when it goes round from here till here, it is five minute. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. 45, 50, 55, 60. When it goes once round, then we say it has completed 60 minutes. 60 minutes. 60 minutes make 1 hour. 1 hour. Okay. 60 minutes make 1 hour. Now, we say 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and like that when it is 12 hours, when it is 12 hours, we say it's a half day. Now, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours make, make one day. 24 hours make one day. Then, how many days? Seven days. Seven days make one week. And so on. Now, the most important thing here is time. This is three o'clock. Read this as three o'clock. Alright? Now, we'll read this as three o'clock. Read this. 3, we'll write it as 3 o'clock. Alright, that is reading time. Now I draw another clock. Okay, here's another clock. Now, at what time you go to school? You go to school at 8 o'clock. So, now we are going to do 8 o'clock. What are we going to write? 8 o'clock on the clock. 8 o'clock. First I said, long minute hand. So, that has to point to the 12. Okay. Now, the short hand. That says how many hours? At what the time you are going? You are going at 8 o'clock to school. So it must, the shorthand must point toward 8. Now this is called 8 o'clock. What is it? At what time you get up? I get up at 6 o'clock. Okay. Now let's draw a clock. 6 o'clock. You must wake up every day at 6 o'clock. Okay. 12 Draw the clock and we are going to wake up at 6 o'clock. Okay, now the, there are two hands of the clock I said. Now first of all, the minute hand has to face the 12. Here's the hand and then we said we are going to get up at 6 o'clock. What time? 6 o'clock. Now, 6. Where is 6? Here. So, the short hour hand points here toward the 6. 6 o'clock. Now, at what time you come from school? You will come from school at 3 o'clock. Okay. Now, at what time you will have dinner? Say 9 o'clock. Okay. Now we are going to have draw. Show on the clock face. 9 o'clock. Show on the clock face. 9 o'clock. Okay. 12. 3. How will you show 9 o'clock? All right. First of all, the 
minute hand must face the twelve. Then the shot our hand faces nine. And that tells us, now this is nine o'clock, reading time. You get up at six o'clock, you go to school at eight o'clock, you come back from school at three o'clock, and nine o'clock, you eat something or watch TV. Now what else? What else you do? Mommy says, okay, you are allowed to go out and play, but you must come back. Mommy puts a rule and she says, come back at five o'clock. Draw the face, clock face and show five o'clock. Alright, then mommy says, mommy says, you are coming from school at three o'clock, you need to go for tuition at four o'clock and then you come back, four o'clock you need to go for tuition. Okay, four o'clock. On the clock face, you're going to show you're coming back from school at three o'clock. Mommy says, four o'clock, go for tuition. So on the face, looking at the clock in the house, you learn to read. Come on, let's read. We are looking at 4 o'clock. We are going for a tuition at 4 o'clock. So, the minute hand faces the 12th of the short hand. 4 o'clock. So, there it's 4. Short hand. 4 o'clock. Oh, it's 4 o'clock. I must go for tuition. And you run away. Now, mommy says, you must be back home by 5 o'clock and you can go to play. Okay, let's draw on the clock. Five o'clock. Five o'clock you need to go and play. So we are going to draw five o'clock looking at the clock. You should be able to read time. Okay, when you say five o'clock, the minute hand must face the, must face twelve. Then, you have the short hand that must face five only. This is a short hour hand. Our hand is pointing towards five. Now let's go over all the times that we are learning to read on the... Now, six o'clock. What do you do at six o'clock? You wake up. Sixty seconds make one. You must learn this. Minute, 60 minutes make one hour. 24 hours make one day. 7 days make one week. Now, 6 o'clock. You wake up at 6 o'clock. You have a clock in your house, in your bedroom and you must look at, wow, 6 o'clock I must go to school. So you wake up 6 o'clock. Then mommy, 8 o'clock. Go to, go to school. So you read the 8 o'clock. So, Six o'clock after you wake up, brush your teeth, have breakfast, it's time. Your van comes, eight o'clock, you're off to school. Then school gets over at three o'clock. You learn to look at the school clock and then, wow, it's three o'clock. Then when you come back from three o'clock, mommy says, four o'clock, you have to go for your tuition. So learn to read the clock time in your house, four o'clock. Then mommy says, come back at five o'clock, you can play, play time. So, 5 o'clock you come. Then 9 o'clock, either you have dinner or TV time, 9 o'clock. Now, we learn to look at the clock face and say the time. Now, 60 seconds make 1 minute. 60 minutes make 1 hour. 24 hours make 1 day. 7 days make 1 week. 